G'day and welcome to the 180. Today we're doing all the camera modes in three minutes. Let's go. The first mode we're looking at is the mode with the P. Now that is program auto. It means that your camera is going to take care of the shutter speed and the aperture. It's going to allow you to adjust the ISO. So you can adjust the ISO for your exposure. The other settings the camera is going to decide for you. The second mode is shutter priority or TV. This means that you get to control the speed of the shutter. That is to say how long the shutter remains open to collect the available light. The camera is going to determine the aperture based on that and also the ISO. You get to decide the shutter speed. This mode is great if you want to freeze motion or if you want to incorporate motion blur into your photography. You need to go into shutter priority mode so you can either speed up the shutter or slow it down and leave the camera to determine the other the elements of the exposure for you. The next one we're going to talk about is aperture priority or AV mode and this is a real favorite of mine. You are able to determine the aperture value whereas the camera is going to set the shutter speed and also the ISO in order to compensate the exposure. The benefit of being able to select the aperture is you can determine the depth of field so if you want to get that blurry background into your shot you can open it wide up. If you want to bring everything into focus in a wonderful panoramic landscape you can stop the aperture down and leave the camera to decide the shutter speed and the ISO for you. The next mode is bulb mode and that's the one with the B and you may not use this terribly often it allows you to determine how long the shutter remains open by keeping the shutter button depressed. Once you depress the shutter button the shutter opens once you release the button it closes it's as simple as that. It's really quite often used with an intervalometer or some sort of remote shutter actuator and allows you to hold the shutter open for a predetermined amount of time however long you please maybe you're using it for astrophotography or to capture a long exposure of a waterfall with an ND filter okay the next mode we're going to talk about is manual mode or M mode that is full manual mode it allows you as the photographer all the controls to set the shutter speed the aperture value and also the ISO value you get to set all those three elements of the exposure to create the image you want based on a number of things such is the available light or the depth of field or the motion you want to incorporate in your shot or eliminate from it it's all up to you the manual mode gives you full creative control over your shots I use AV mode because I find it allows me to control what's most important to me which is usually the depth of field and allow the camera to determine the other elements of the exposure another mode we should talk about really quickly is full auto or the green A mode and hey cameras these days are really really clever they got heaps of processing power in here they can look at a scene and determine the correct exposure but the cameras just don't have that artistic overlay they can't decide the type of shot that you want to get whether or not you might want to bring a background into focus or otherwise isolate your subject in the shot that's up to you by all means use auto mode because it's a really terrific way for you to be able to focus on other things such as composition and focus so by all means use it in some cases I'll flick to auto mode to grab a shot in a situation so I've got one locked in on the memory card and then I I'll dial into my settings somewhere else, maybe on AV or manual mode. That's the 180 on all the camera modes on your camera. To find out what the each individual value is, such as shutter, aperture, ISO, check out my upcoming 180 series, it's gonna deal with these individually. Thanks a lot for watching wherever you are. I hope you're well. Hit the subscribe button if you want to. We're coming from here from Wellington, New Zealand, so you may get a different perspective. As always, smash that like button and I'll catch you on the next one.